Here's another one. Hey, here's another break right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's still green, too. It sure is. Huh. Yeah, that's purposeful done. Because I was noticing some of this over here looks like it's yeah. been like, stepped on or some of the sun. Stuff here, like whatever was coming to the fence has been stepping on some of that, knocking it down. I hunted for 40 something years. I haven't been hunting in the last seven or eight. I just oh, wow. you started probably, getting into this and just. You probably had stuff happen to you then you didn't know. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't have any, you like know. Like a click, like, what the tree knock? That's what that was, huh? Right. Or, or whatever. Smell. Yeah, if you, you're hunting and you don't know anything about Bigfoot, you're not going to look for the sign. Right. No, you sure don't. So I had um, I had one growl at my dog one time. <laughs> we we messed up his hunt. I'm I'm pretty sure we ended up killing the hog. He growled at my dog. It was really real loud and sharp. You yeah. know, back then I was trying to figure out what kind of animal could make a growl like that. Right. Because I'd never heard anything like that. Now I know what it was. Well, from everything I've been re breeding them about it, they. They love wild hogs. Yeah, yeah. They say they tear them up in East Texas. Mm-hmm. I've heard that too, yeah. Uh, do you, uh, I guess, do you listen to Sassar's Chronicles with Wes Germer? Um, I've, I've watched it a few times, yeah. He had a story on there one time. His son was in a deer stand. And he heard some commotion, and uh, this hog come. They had, he, was, he was sitting up near a clearing. This hog come running out, mm -hmm. and a, a big foot, big foot, a big foot way lady right in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. Said he grabbed him by the legs mm -hmm. and slammed him up against the tree, killed him instantly. Yeah. Started sit down, and started eating him right there, right wow. in front of you. Damn. Now, I mean that's. A story, you yeah. don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, yeah. There's some people that you hear their stories and you just know that they're telling them, like Kerry Arnold's story. Oh yeah. You, you know he that happened to him. <laughs> you can just tell. Uh huh. That was really something hearing his story. Those are actually hard. Yeah, yeah, those are a lot hard. Okay, hard. Yeah, yeah. You think that's a game trail? Or somebody yeah. Somebody walking to their stand trail. I think it's, I think it's a game trail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's during the weekdays. Well, yeah. the general gun season end in, in this area? Um, seems like it was towards the end of January. And then they had small game up into February. Yeah, okay, that's what you were waiting on, small game. Yeah, yeah. Because out here now, they're, um, there's like three or 
These are three or four turkey hunts. Yeah. But they're all during the weekdays. Like organized turkey hunts? Yeah, some. It's a spring goblin. Well, I tell you, over where I live, the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call it? Wibble Coochie State Trail uh -huh. or something. Mm hmm. It's right behind my house, and I walk it and ride biking on it sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's turkeys over there this tall, I swear to God. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was an ostrich the first time I seen one. Mm -hmm. uh, they're absolutely huge. Yeah. And, and all over the place. I mean, I've never seen so many turkeys in one place as mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, there's a lot of them in Rich Slum and uh, Green Swamp. Water here. Yeah. Pond here, I guess. Hey, there's a lot of Yeah, I think that's hog hair. Anybody needs a water or anything, I got extra water. Okay. I always try to bring extra too for making cows. Alright, but it's hog hair. Yeah. Yep, and a big one here. That's different. Kind of a myth. Yeah, it is. They don't look like hog hair. There's no cows in there. No. No, there's no cows. No, I've never seen any cows or anything out here. Does that look like hog hair then? That, yeah, that definitely does. This, this, uh, this is different. Look at this, it's different too. Yeah, that's different. It looks human. I'll that? go ahead and collect that. So this definitely looks like hog hair right here. <clears throat> I've got samples of that. But this doesn't look like hog hair. Nice out here this morning. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like
Was that bear spray you carry? Yeah, bear spray. Yeah. I started carrying it because another area we were going into, we're seeing a lot of bear sign in there. Really? So I just started carrying it with me. Well, it might deter a squash too. Yeah, it might, yeah. Collected the hair samples right here. And we're seeing something right there on the other side of the fence there that looks like it could be something dead, something maybe a small animal or something. We can't really tell what it is. Are they hunting for turkeys now? Turkeys, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's during the weekdays. Oh. When yeah. does general gun season end in, in this area? Um, seems like it was towards the end of January, and then they had small game up into February. Yeah, okay, that's what you were waiting on, small game. Yeah, yeah. Because out here now, they're on, there's like three or, either three or four turkey hunts, yeah. but they're all during the weekdays. Like organized turkey hunts? Yeah, some. It's a spring goblin. I tell you, over where I live, the uh, the uh, what they call it, River Tucci State Trail, uh -huh. or something. Mm -hmm. and it's right behind my house, and I walk it and ride bikes on it sometimes. Uh -huh. There's turkeys over there this tall. I swear to God. Yeah. I, I I thought it was an ostrich the first time I seen one. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're absolutely huge. Yeah. And, and all over the place. I mean, I've never seen so many turkeys in one place. As mm -hmm. as, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them in Rich Long and uh, Green Swamp. Yeah. And there's a lot of, a lot of those, aren't there? Yeah, I think that's hog hair. Anybody needs a water or anything, I got extra water. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always try to bring extra too for making casts. I think the next thing I'm going to try to invest in is one of these. Yeah, these are pretty nice. It keeps it really nice and smooth. I've got um, a friend of ours. He, he, he went out and filmed. He was by himself with his dog. And he's he's holding his camera. He, he don't have it. He's holding it straight up and down. But he's, he's filming around and he's just kind of quick with it. And <clears throat> when he sent me the film, I slowed it down. You can see a Bigfoot right here beside the, kind of just right behind the tree. You can see him move a little bit. And he's really close to him. And when I slowed the film down and looked at it, there's two more peeking out behind the other side of the tree. There's like two trees right there together. Makes it kind of wide. So you got that one and then you got two over here. That just goes to show you, man. Mm -hmm. They can stand there and be perfectly still yeah. and a little bit of cover. And, and him or the by. dog never knew it was there. Yeah. yeah. What the big baby guinea is in. Mm-hmm. I've seen one go by. There's yeah. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. That's um, probably quail, then. Yeah, you the did quail. Get in here. Oh, you just seen it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just seen them down my ass a bunch of them. Oh, wow. Okay. Noisy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are quail. They're probably in the mama. Those are quail. Mm -hmm. When we first came in, I, heard a, I definitely heard a guinea here. Uh-huh. They make that. I think we can. 
Um, yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, they call them quail down here. Probably. Yeah, yeah, you can hunt them during small game season. I said during the regular hunt and then the small game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen that one real good when he just ran by. Yeah, it was like, I seen about eight of them. Mm-hmm. Hey, Joey. Let me show you that real quick. I haven't been showing too many people yet because we sent them to, uh, we emailed it to Jeff Meldrum. Yeah. And uh, I emailed it to Mark Zaski. That one you can see better. He's got a white beard. And I can see his, his ear over here. You can see his nose. Yeah. That's like his face right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And that's just zooming in on it with my, my phone. On the uh, on my video. That's, he, that's the other thing I can't figure he's out. He's about nine foot tall because I can, videoed. Why? Mm -hmm. What do they do to make the picture come blur out blurry? Yeah, time? yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Well, that's part of this is because of blowing it up, zooming in, and because too he was he was moving his camera so fast. Oh. And, yeah. and with like this, you can tell when when I went back in there with him with this thing. And I'm filming, and we we walked around the tree. Some of us were walking around the tree, right. so you can see how tall the the guys were compared to this thing. So this thing was about nine foot tall. Uh, nine but, footer. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. But this thing sure does make a difference. I'm always hearing the guys from up north say, "Oh, they're here on these small fish down in Florida. They don't get no big six foot tall." <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a story is down there where Uncle Sylvia we found out there was uh, no less than three dog members like that. And then one day, a bunch of these helicopters, black box. Oh, yeah. Mark came in uh -huh. and, heard of that a and ever since that, which was about six months ago, wiped them out. There's no dog in the park anymore. Yeah, they do that with Bigfoot too, I hear. When they become a nuisance, I think they take them out. You know what I mean? When they start yeah. interacting with people, bothering yeah. people. Let you know? uh -huh. ask you guys a question. You, you, you're familiar with 411, missing yeah. 411. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Do you think that some of those reports that people are taken by Bigfoot, I think I some know. of them are. I don't know. Maybe a low percentage, but there is. Yeah. I, I kind of think of Bigfoot as sort of like people. Could be, like, yeah, yeah, a real low right percentage. Into the yeah. sociopathic one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All my experiences have been jumping. I mean, I'm having a lot of they got to have the good time, you know, the sociopathic ones, the rogue ones. Maybe they get kicked out of group. Or mm -hmm. maybe it's a squat to play game. Yeah, and it's like or it's just you know. mentally ill. <laughs> yeah. But I think some of those people do get taken by big fish. That's a cool tree, huh? I like that tree. Yeah, yeah. it is. Man. Yeah. Man, you can figure where you get out there here, man, just wait for something to walk out of you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> There's probably like for some hairs around it. Guys, I'm doing this. 
they absolutely do not want to be seen by us, but they want to watch us. You don't want nothing to do with us. They just want to They want to observe us. They're very inquisitive. And I think the only time they get seen is... Yeah, there's uh, there's a story from uh, Ocala like that, oh, yeah? where uh, a Bigfoot killed a guy. Oh yeah. And uh, Charlie Charlie from the uh, the Bigfoot guys, he told the story. He got permission to tell it when the guy passed away, but the guy made him promise to tell it. The original story, the way the guy told it. Okay. So he was cussing and everything in it, just like the guy would have told him, but. He said that uh, it was back in, seems like it was back in the 50s, that uh, it was a husband, a wife, and, and their two kids. And it's the boy was telling the story. He said that uh, during the night, the mom screamed and the dad came out of the tent and the Bigfoot was standing right there. And, and the dad attacked the Bigfoot trying to protect his family. So they, they fought for just a few seconds and the Bigfoot I mean, the guy was down, and the mom got the, the, the dad in the car and the kids in the car and said that she uh, rammed the car into the Bigfoot. And Charlie actually found a piece of um, the word, the piece of the word off the front of the car that matched that kind of car exactly out there. Well, he went out there searching so with the metal detector. Yeah, the guy died. They, they got him to the hospital. The guy died. And then the, uh, the family was told not to say nothing to anybody about the yeah. government. Yeah, the typical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys in the black car show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a good story for you. We used to do, uh, you know, in Miami, Ohio. We, we went out and did a lot of lectures, almost on a weekly basis. We go to libraries and all that. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was... This one guy, after everybody left, there was this one guy there. We had seen him before a couple of times. He would come to the park on the other lessons. And that day, he stayed and he said, Look, I said, I got to tell you guys something. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Uh, something happened to, to me and uh, I can't tell you that, but I will someday. Well, it was about three years after that, he gets a couple of He's on the stand and he goes, I'm going to tell you what happened now. I can tell you. Well, what happened was he was a police officer and he was waiting and now he's retired. He's got his retirement. So he says one night in Ohio on this one dirt gravel road, he gets a call that a woman in her truck struck a bear and it's dead in the road. And he says, well, all right, I'll go over there. We went over there. I don't know how you heard it. It was public. Anyway, I got it from the horse of God. And he says he responded to it. It's dark and everything. And the woman was crying. You know, she, she, and her car was heavy. She was heavy. She was driving. And he said, well, you can just go on. I'll stay here. I'll have my lights on. And we'll have the animal control come out and we'll move. Right. And that's, that's, you know, what is her call? Walks over with the flashlight to leave. He shines it on it, and, it's, and he saw what he thought was going to be a paw, and he said, "Look like a hand." Dark, dark, dark. And he said, "Is that a hand?" And he turns over and he turns it around, looks at his face, and he just drops back. And it's a freaking picture. This is a picture. He, he starts panicking, shaking. Gets on the radio and says, "He goes, uh, I don't know who to call, but..." We got a dead Bigfoot here. And, and the lady, or uh, whatever, the zip that. Oh, you quit joking, you know. Quit, quit, quit that. No, I'm not kidding. There's a Bigfoot here. It's dead and it's laying in the road. I don't know who you call. She goes, well, animal patrols that come on, they're on their way. They'll be there probably, you know, within an hour. Okay. And this is way up in the remote area. So he says, okay. And he sits in his car. He says, he's just shaking like, I can't believe there's a dead Bigfoot laying here. And uh, all of a sudden he says this big ass, not black, but white vehicle pulls up. I think it was white. I think that's what he said. And he said, it was a 
four guys jump out, women black type of people, and they walked over and they told them, you're not, to, you, you can't, you're not allowed to talk about this, the, the typical non-event, all mm -hmm. that stuff they tell you, threaten his family, threaten his country if he spoke about it. And he said they, it took every bit of all four of them to lift the dang thing up and put it in the back and the, you know, the hatch mm -hmm. back in there, drove off. And then he told, uh, when the, I guess when the, the animal patrol got this got there, he was told that it got up and walked away. <laughs> I've yeah. heard another, it wasn't that story, it was another story like it where this guy reported a Bigfoot getting hit and, you know, cars were going around, it, it was kind of halfway on the road and halfway off, and he could very clearly see that it was a, said it was like eight, nine foot tall, hairy, mm -hmm. and, uh, he went, he went down the road, he called his wife, and we got to the next town, and he says, you know what, I'm going to go back and take a picture, and when he got back, this was a few hours later, he said the place had been cleaned and sanitized, there was nothing left, wow. I mean, no blood, no nothing, uh -huh. so, I mean, you know the government knows they're real, yeah. why don't they yeah. just tell us? Yeah. This is, um, Do you really think it's uh, lumber companies and stuff? Keep having mm. checked. Who, oh, knows? Who knows? I don't think they, they don't want us to know. Yeah. They say the lumber companies in the national parks are the ones that are keeping them in check. Mm -hmm. This is one of the spots I was finding hares right here, yeah. last year. And um, I collected top, all of it. On the top one? They, they were on all the wires. All, all of them. Well, I'm seeing, uh, I just saw a little right here. Where did it And this moss, but I collected all of it. Now, do you collect them? Then you, you, you actually don't get them sent off to get. I've DNA sent them to a couple people, not not for DNA samples, but yeah, to a couple very, people from the look at. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, but I, I did get a um, I bought a, a cheap micro microscope to look at them myself. Right. And I I put that on on my YouTube also. Well, there's something about yeah, right the doulas that's supposed to be different. I don't think they have yeah, one. There's a little right there. They don't have one. It's yeah. supposedly. Mm -hmm. I don't think people know enough about them. But when I collected it, then I came back a month later and there was more there. There's a show right here. I see a lot of places like this where hogs are going to. Yeah. There's a hair there. This, this place is probably full of hogs. It is, yeah. There's a lot of, lot of hogs sign out here. Cause see, they can they can use all that with nobody ever seeing them. Right. right. From the river over there, the lake, all through here, nobody ever seeing them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet that place is flat full of bass. Mm-hmm. Nobody fishes that. No, no. Uh -uh. That reminds me of the uh, who's the guy that got picked up and carried away in his sleeping bag? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. William Rowe? Carried away in what? Uh, William Rowe, was that his name? No. Oh, are you talking about the one that got... Yeah, they carried away and they took him, they kept him for a week. That yeah, that was... Family. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Alfred Yeah, I got him. Look at that. That's kind of right there. Oh, yeah. It's real green. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty good. This is what we find. Yeah, don't look too natural. No, I mean, this is what they do. This is exactly what they do. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. But, uh, I mean, look, this is fresh. This has got to be in the last yeah. couple of days. Yeah. That took some strength to snap that. Yeah, that's not, there's no reason for that to be like that. It's not windy. Do you guys run into a lot of those arched saplings with? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. With, with stuff and then there's over something the holding it down, yeah. 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 Gotta be some kind of mark, mm -hmm. territorial or something. Here's another one. Hey, here's another break right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's still green, too. It sure is. Huh. Well, that's purposeful done. Because I was noticing some of this over here looks like it's yeah. been like, stepped on or some of this um, stuff here, like whatever was coming through the fence has been stepping on some of that and knocking it down. Yeah. I thought it was 
here, all look like they've been stepped yeah, on and stepped on. pushed down. Hey, David, looks like another break right there, Tom. That limb looks like it's broken, it pushed green? down. Yeah. It's still green? I think it is. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's still right got green here. on it. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a definite sign. Yeah. They're going right to that lake. So that one's broke. The deer hair right here on the wire. And then some of these have been stepped on and pushed down. That one, that one, one over there. Yeah, regular camcorder. Yeah, I got one about that size. Mm -hmm. What I've been doing is zooming in like almost halfway. Yeah. And then pointing it out there in places like that when we're walking by. But I, I was looking at some last night that I took a, a couple of weeks ago. I'm pretty sure I caught one. Me and my wife were looking at it last night. Pretty sure we caught one looking at us, watching us walk by. That's what I've been doing lately. I, I'll just mm -hmm. go into a place that looks, you know, they got some, maybe some breaks like that. Uh -huh. I'll just take pictures. Yeah. And then when I get home, I'll just start enlarging them. And... Yeah, the parachuters, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if this means fresh water. You know? Yeah. Come this way, fresh uh -huh. water. Very possible. Mark. Yeah. That's the whole thing. We don't know anything. There's a break. There's a break. We've got a lake out there. The brakes mean one thing, and the bent over saplings mean something else. And um, and the X's, they gotta mean something. Yeah. We just don't know. And all these are still green. Yeah, I mean, that, this is fresh. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's wilted. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I've been filming. Go ahead. No. What do you do? Just hold it and it, it, it does all the work? Yeah, yeah. You just mainly hold it. Yeah. And you actually control it by those down there? Yeah, these here. Yeah. Yeah, this will control it to move it. Now, that's an Android, isn't it? This is an um, iPhone. iPhone? It's an iPhone, yeah. Yeah. I seen them online the other day for like $75. I don't know if they're for decent or not. But. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. That's about the price range they run. I hear, uh, I think this one was about 70 Oh, Matt from Central Florida Bigfoot, he's always yeah. pushing. Yeah, it's because of him that I got this one because I was, I was watching him one day. In the, right. Yeah. I think I seen, wasn't you on his show the other, yeah. that, like last week? I think yeah. I seen, yeah, uh -huh. that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me and Dave were on his live show. Yeah. Yeah. I took uh I've took Matt out a couple of times to places. How do you get on there live with your phone? I mean is it a complicated No, it's real easy. Strap? He uses um StreamYard and all he does is send you a um an email link. Right. You just click on that link and just sit there and it um and it goes to your camera on your computer or your laptop. That's it. You just hit the link it. and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm not really too much tech savvy, but I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm learning a lot myself. I usually 
got a little 380 I carry with me. Yeah. But I didn't bring it today. It's, you know, it's, it's okay. one of the, real, the only reason I like it is because you put it right in your pocket. Right? Yeah. For nothing, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I wouldn't do much to a Bigfoot, I don't think, but maybe scare him away. Yeah. Or if they had me by the throat, maybe I could get it up under. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only thing you can do. Well, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't plan on ever having to shoot one. I hope not. Yeah. That's I don't. The only reason I don't I shoot anything. Like I don't a, like have to. Like a to. life and death situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I carry mine. That's the same lake. Yeah. Wow, that's that's a big, big lake. Yeah. Mm hmm I found deer here on these wires too in the past. There's another trail here. Found deer hair on these wires a few times. I said there's some right there. That's deer hair right there. And I found it on the top wire too, right here before where they jump over the fence. Tree break right there too. Yeah.
overlooking the fence over the gift repairs. Yeah, see, yeah. Yeah, that looks like hair. That's interesting. Yeah. It's way up there. Yeah, it is, yeah. It looks like it's been there a while. Mm hmm. Taking a little water break here. You gotta keep hydrated out here. That's supposed to be warm again today. Yesterday was 90 degrees. Right now we got a nice breeze blowing out here.
Oh, no, I'm good. I had to go ahead and change my GoPro battery too. This looks like it could be an old structure. Yeah. It's rotten in the way. It was around 70 bucks. Is that online? Yeah, online, yeah, on uh, Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to tell, yeah. One of those deals where that one kind of looks like it was pushed up. over. other branches up right, here. Yeah. yeah. Went down to the Everglades about six weeks ago and I caught this. Oh. That's a... Three of them. I saw three of them in uh, five days. Where was this at? Everglades. Big Cypress. Yeah. yeah. First one I ever saw.